sent the script. I heard Danny Boyle and I read the title of Trance and then read it and was completely blown away by this genre bending, psychological heist movie. Anyone could steal a painting. There was no need for a gun. All it took was a bit of muscle and some nerve. You don't try and make it look like a noir, but you try and take elements of it and exploit the good bits of it. I owe him a lot of money, and I don't know what I'm going to do. For me, it was the opportunity to make a twisty, turny, entertaining thriller with Danny, and it felt like a, a sort of really refreshing departure, actually, from the last couple of films we made together. Danny's interested in pushing ideas, unexpected and interesting directions. There's quite a lot of violence in the film. It's an intense experience and it's a gathering darkness as it begins to reveal itself. So where's she gone? Huh? Don't let her get away, Simon, not after all this. I'm a huge fan of Danny's films and I know there are going to be visual things and elements in this film that are going to be really profound for people to experience that will help them to digest the story or make certain parts of the story even more mysterious and more layered. I had this dream wasn't a dream. Camera movement is quintessential for Danny and I. I had all these ideas, and you chuck them across the table at each other, and he receives it, and it goes into the machine of his, and he deals with it, and it comes back out, you know, in a sort of more organized Danny Boyle way. And that's what makes him an interesting man to work for. Danny is definitely trying new stuff, and he does this very modern kind of cinema, but in the same time, he comes from a theater world. His relationship to acting and actors in general is very uh, organic. We took a kind of more classical approach, and it's also an acknowledgement that it's absolutely actor-based. We let them play their cards in the way that they want, rather than have a style that you kind of savagely impose. Where is it? I can't remember, I go here on the head. That you remember. And one of the reasons Danny's such a great director is because he's a great leader. You try and create this environment in which everyone is completely immersed in the telling of this story. And you have absolute faith that whatever bumps in the road you may or may not experience, you'll get there in the end. It's a pleasure dome, the film, as well. You know, you want, in the end, the exercising of the people's imagination in joining with you for the 90 minutes of the film to make them feel like they've been through an adrenalizing experience. I remember.